Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExilAutomation.com. This is part three of our Coded UI video series. So in this part, we are going to introduce Coded UI testing type of Visual Studio. So as discussed in part one, the Coded UI basically drives the application's user interface. These tests includes functional testing of the UI controls. They don't do any performance testing of your application. Rather, they do only functional testing of your application. They let you verify that the whole applications, including its user interface, is functioning correctly or not. So whether you type some data in a UI, whether it is perfectly typed in the application's UI or not, and also verifies whether once you saved any data within your application, whether those data has been saved in your application's UI, and also whether the application's data is saved in an application database or not, is all verified using this Coded UI testing. Coded UI supported technologies. Coded UI not only supports Windows application or web application, but it supports list of technologies like Windows based applications, like Windows form applications. It can be a Visual Fox Pro application. It can be Visual Windows .NET application, etc. WPF applications. So Windows Presentation Foundation applications also supported in Coded UI testing. It supports web application like HTML, Silverlight, JavaScript, etc. It supports web services like SOAP, ASPX, etc. It also supports Windows Phone applications, which is available from Visual Studio 2013 Update 2 or later. So it is not available in Visual Studio 2010 or Visual Studio 2012. It is available only in Visual Studio 2013 Update 2. So I just missed that point here. And it also automate Windows Store applications. So all these different kinds of technologies are supported in Coded UI. So comparing Coded UI with other tools. So Selenium surely does not support any Windows application as well as WPF applications. Since Selenium is a web application automation tool. It is not a Windows application automation testing tool. Right? So Selenium has the restriction. It doesn't support Windows Phone application or Windows Store application as well. QDP does support Windows application, but requires a .NET plugin to be purchased and installed separately. So that comes as a cost. That doesn't come for free. So you need to purchase that and then install it separately. Test Complete does support Windows application, but requires plugin to be installed. I think it's free. So no other tools other than Visual Studio Coded UI supports Windows Phone application testing. Similarly, no other tools other than Visual Studio Coded UI supports Windows Store application as well. So if you could see here, the Coded UI supports lots of different technologies than compared to the available proprietary as well as the open source automation testing tools. So Coded UI testing is really great. So Coded UI testing features. So the Coded UI testing, again, it's not just like you keep on coding something into Visual Studio and then do a testing as you do for Selenium. Of course, Selenium has an ID, but you cannot actually use it for your day-to-day -day activities. Similarly, in Coded UI, there is a feature called Record and Playback. You can actually do a recording of the applications and the Visual Studio Coded UI Test Builder, which will automatically generate the code for the action that you perform. Again, I'm saying Coded UI Test Builder. So we'll talk about Coded UI Record and Playback in a separate video of this video series. So as of now, just keep in mind that there is a feature called Record and Playback in Coded UI, which will record the user action and generate the code automatically. And there is one more feature in Coded UI Testing feature, which is Coded UI Hand Coding. Here, you need to create the test classes, and then you need to add the bindings, like Coded UI test class, Coded UI test methods, attributes, all these bindings if you put there. So that class will automatically become the test class for Coded UI. So then you can start writing your own custom methods and custom code to perform the operation which Coded UI actually understand and it will perform the intended operation that you specify in the code there. So these are the two different options. So we are going to detailedly talk about these two options in upcoming video series. So as of now, just keep in mind that these are the two testing features which is supported in Coded UI. All right, Coded UI for Windows Mobile app. 
is available from Visual Studio 2013 update 2 and later so that's what I said so if you want to use this feature then of course you need to update your Visual Studio 2013 itself if you already have it so the latest version of update is update 4 so note that there's one more point there is a limitation in mobile application testing as well currently the coded UI for mobile supports only XAML technology it doesn't support other technologies like WinJS or HTML5 those things are currently not supported so maybe in future versions or future updates or maybe future version of course like Visual Studio 2015 they may be supporting these two technologies as well alright so this is a detailed explanation of what Coda UI, what technologies Coda UI supports, what are the different kinds of testing you can do using Coda UI. Alright, so the next video of this video series, we will talk in detail about Coda UI record and playback feature. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.